Okay, today's video, we're gonna go through the steps of testing a water heater element. So what I've got is my little digital standalone meter here. If you want to test your element properly, you definitely need a meter that's going to do continuity testing. And what I've done is set it at 200 ohms of resistance. So a new element, the ohms of resistance, so this one is 13.2. Now if you wanted to put it on your tone, you can do that to see if it's good or bad. And that'll tell you your element's good. Doesn't tell you what your resistance is, but normally if you get a tone on a water heater element, that'll tell you that that element is probably good. Now, what we'll do is we'll grab an element that's burned out. And we'll do the same thing. And as you see, we have no tone. But let me switch it over to read what our resistance is across the element. And if it's broken, it may not give us a reading. If it's, uh, and most of the time a water heater element's not gonna give you a reading. It's either gonna be good or bad. So I have zero ohms of resistance. And I also have zero tone which tells me that this element is bad. So we know that element is bad. Now, I got one more. So we'll set that one off to the side, grab the other element, and do the same thing. First thing I'm gonna do is check for resistance and see what that number gives me. It gives me zero. So chances are this element is bad. The element that goes inside of the rod is burnt off inside of there somewhere. We'll switch this over to a tone. Touch my two leads together. I get a tone. Touch there. And I don't have a tone. So that tells us that that, burnt, that element is definitely bad. Retest it. Got a tone on the good one. So we got two bad water heater elements. And I'll tell you what, tell me this. Do you call it a water heater or a hot water heater? Let me know in the comments below. Which one is it? Is it water heater or is it hot water heater? And come on, you can participate in this. Is it a water heater? Is it a hot water heater? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so now we know how to test a water heater element by doing a continuity test on it. First with a tone, we'll switch this over to the 200 ohms of resistance and we'll get our 13.5 to 14 ohms. That is a good element and that's how you would test it. Well thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope this is going to help you to identify a good and a bad element on your water heater. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment below on which one you think is proper, water heater or hot water heater. All right, so just learned how to test the water heater element. And be sure to let me know in the comment section below, what is it? Is it a water heater or is it a hot water heater? Please leave me a comment. And let me know what your thoughts are on that. And until next time, this is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon.